why don't you guys tell us um, what you like most about Dragon Drive, and then uh, maybe the the best event you, in your opinion, that you've attended. You know, I, I think the best things the people you meet. You know, the cars are one thing, the racing's the one thing, but the people you meet along the way is the best. And then most of the people that I talk to every day, I've met on Rocky Mountain Race Week. I mean. Yep. I talk to people day in and day out that I've met there. So that's probably my favorite event I've ever attended for Dragon Drive wise. Yeah. <laughs> we got somebody sneaking up there. Yeah. Uh, she has no manners. <laughs> well, that took mine. So I guess I got to do something different. Uh, I'm going to say the stories, man, because the stories that come out of Dragon Drive events, the adversity people go through. Uh, you know, the, the crazy things, the parts that never break, that break on a drag and drive event <laughs> and people on yeah. the side of the road at 3 a.m. TIG welding with a battery or something like that, <laughs> you know, yep. the, the, the crazy stuff we find out about on drag and drive and how much actually people are willing to put their heart into it and trudge through and get finish that series. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I agree wholeheartedly with that. I'd say mine is the memories. Um, obviously, um, you know, Mike, you came out this weekend and you've seen my family there and I always bring my kids with me. So to me, it's about making the memories along the way, whether it's the racers or the people you meet, meet in small towns. We do our thing a little bit different, Oklahoma. I reach out to all the small towns we travel through and months and months of this goes into planning. And I get the townspeople to come out and basically give us a welcome as we drive through these towns. So there's mm -hmm. hundreds, literally hundreds of people lined up. And, you know, I was that little eight year old kid one day. You know, when yep. you drive these cool cars to these towns, we're inspiring the next generation. So to me, it's definitely about the memories because I've been racing for 15 or 20 years now. And let's face it, you blow a lot of shit up, you break your car, whatever happens, you don't really remember that stuff. You remember the memories of the event, whether you won and you helped so-and-so or whatnot. And with me, with Cruz in Oklahoma and Dragon Drives, it's about the memories, 100%, because you yep. are literally making memories with people that are going to last a lifetime. Yeah. So it's funny when I was talking to uh, Vince Rash, he was like, man, I met people in 05 that came to my wedding in 08. Like, I mean, that's, that's what, you know, Rocky Mountain uh, or the 2.0 race week did for me. I mean, I met people that, that I talked to all the time, you know, same, same thing. And uh, yeah, you were talking about roadside repairs and all that kind of stuff. Red Hat Scotty's in the comments over there. Um, he's trying to work out, I'm going to get back on the quick 16 stuff too, but they did a motor swap in the parking lot, did not know they were going to um, have to do that and swapped it right in Tulsa's drag strip parking lot. So yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, you were on 2.0 that year, I think too. Um, yeah. And that, that motor has lived in the car to 10 O's and they literally bought it from a junkyard. So it, it's at, you know, or somebody late at night, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, we're six hours from where they normally would buy stuff. So it's really cool uh, for your event. Fast Looks car, like favorite got... car though, uh, of the, of the event. That's hard. There's so many cool ones that I like locally. I, I don't know if I can answer that one, <laughs> uh, man. Cause I, I, I'm a sucker for the turbo crap wagons. I love them. <laughs> There, there's something that's different. There's a Saturn powered Saturn that came on ours with MS3. Like it, oh, wow. like the block looks styrofoam. He's ran like 1120s with it with a $97 eBay turbo. Like it's a kind of a cool little car. Yes. And I, I like, I like that stuff. Like on these events, the budget builds that, you know, showcase, you don't need to have a $50,000 car to come. If you have five right. or 10 grand and some willingness, you can build something pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. That Saturn, that's pretty neat. Michael? Uh, I've got one honorable mention, but definitely a, a, a solid favorite. Uh, the honorable mention would be the LTD. Uh, I don't remember the guy's name, and I feel bad about it, but it was a kid, mid, early mid-20s. He's out there. He's thrashing the whole time yard. Uh, the second day at Union County, uh, I had to give him some transmission fluid so that he, because he ran it dry on transmission fluid. I mean, just out there, you know, the same dumb stuff we did when we started, but he yeah. finished the cruise. The, the C4 transmission was on its last leg. He decided he was going to spray the motor to death. Uh, it just wouldn't die. Mm -hmm. And that's my honorable mention. Uh, the winner definitely was the Spirit of Drag Week winner, uh, Drag Cruise winner, and that was uh, Chris Miller and his third gen blue Camaro. Uh, 
he he tr- even though he could trailer to the events, he pulled a trailer to event. Uh, he was, you know, absolutely excited and faced every problem known to man. Uh, Saturday, he barbecued the top of his motor because he had O-rings uh, in the injectors. <clears throat> and then we had three different drivers drive to their houses to go get parts so that he could put his back together to get to the drop-off location. And then on top of that, he gets Sunday, he gets his first pass in to qualify for p- completing the event. Second pass, he turns the turbo up a little bit and he breaks the U-joints, both U-joints, and spits the entire drive shaft out on the uh, on the ground right there at the starting line. That's why nice. I had a smile on his face the whole damn time. Yep. So yep. that would That's definitely be my favorite. Dragon drive life, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Jared. I would say mine, I have two cars that kind of stick on my head. I like very unique, awkward shit. And the car that sticks out to me is the Turbo Chrysler van we had. I don't know yes. if you remember that. Oh, just, dude, I was all over that son yeah, of a bitch. Yeah, the front wheel drive, super clean, 50,000 mile factory turbo, like 89 van. I don't know what model it is. I think yeah. it has the same motor that like the Dodge Omni had. It's like a single mm-hmm. cam four cylinder. The car, when it works right, runs bottom 12s in a minivan, which is super cool. And then the Suzuki Cappuccino. Um, you know that I loved it. Yeah, loved that, it. that car was obviously never uh, brought to the United States. It's the size of a micro machine. It's mm-hmm. turbo and it had Volt T thirty sevens on it. Obviously, I'm an import guy, so it, it's just, it was just a really neat car. Um, those were probably the two that stuck out in my brain because they were just so different. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up a picture of the cappuccino. And what was really cool is that dude. That is the actual car that guy owned and drove uh, when he was in Oka- Okinawa. Okinawa, so yeah. Yeah. His name is Zachary Cruley. I've known him 15 years. I've actually sold, I sold him a Viper. I sold him an ACR Viper. So he has a Viper and he has a VR4. So I sold him his VR4 as well. Then he went overseas, got deployed for four years. And that was his first time coming back and him driving that car 300 miles that day. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, damn, I'm not friends with him yet on uh, Facebook. I've got some pictures of it somewhere on it's on a video on Instagram. You guys will have to go check it out. Um, one thing I do want to ask is the folks that are in the that are in the chats and watching this, please share this out real quick. We got, I mean, this is a huge panel of really cool people. Please get it out there and let everybody know. Um, all right. Yeah, that, that car was definitely one of my favorites of yours for sure. 